found a copier on how to set up fax receive to an email or to a scan folder so basically you have a Kanaka copier it has a fax board when the faxes come in you want to send them to an email or to a folder on your network so this is the way it's done so basically open up your internet browser log in with log in with the IP address of the copier get that IP from your IT provider or your IT support uh, open up your Explorer type in the IP numbers on top you're gonna be here the Kanaka Minolta page called web connection you do need to log in to the admin mode so you're gonna log in right here and then click OK you're gonna go into the administrator option here click login once you log in type in the password and by default on the new Kanaka copiers the password should be one through eight twice so you're gonna type in one through eight two times The only way to configure this I'm sorry, there's going to be function settings. Yes. Function settings. There you go. Once you're in the function settings, look for the option that says RX da data operation. So you're going to be function setting. Rx data operations. Okay. So we know we want to forward the TX setting. So basically, that's going to mean when a fax comes in, it's going to go to either to an email or to a folder. Okay. So I want to go ahead and click on the forward option. Click OK. Now we want to go ahead and turn the feature on. Okay, what is it that we want to do when the fax comes in? We want to forward and print, or we only want to just forward print if it fails. So I just want to go ahead and forward and print if it fails. So if you select this option, it's going to forward either to the email or to the folder, and it's also going to print. So just go ahead and select the second option. So this way, faxes, when it comes in, it's not going to print. It's just going to give you a digital fax, a PDF image fax to a particular folder or an email. Okay. Once you have that option set up, you do, as you can tell here, this is select from an address book. The address book must be configured with an email or a path to scan to that folder, which is the address book is in here and your IT or someone should have configured that already. So you need to go ahead and search from the list. Okay, here it is. So I have an email here. I want to select the email. And you know what? I also wanted to go. This is a scan folder. I wanted to go to this fax folder also when it comes in. Actually, we could do one at a time. So the address book would be email. Click OK. Click Yes. And it puts it in the email. Now, if you do want to set it up where you want to send it to multiple locations, the address book must be configured to a group. You have to configure group so you can, set, so you can send it to multiple locations. We'll do that in a minute so you can see how the group selection is set up. So right now it's just going to one destination. Pretty much everything else stays by default. list line settings everything else is by default the format will be pdf that's what we want multi page is fine email attachment method all files sent to one email okay, click ok and you have the fax received to an email set up now if you want to set it up to where it's going to go to multiple locations, what you have to do is go into the store address icon. On the left side, you're going to see an option that says groups. Click on group. 
click on new reg new registration this is going to be my fax group okay and i'm going to go from the list i'm going to click on search from list these are the users that are already on my list so i'm going to click the email and also click the scan folder that goes to a, to the fax folder click ok click yes okay so i have the the setting set up in here and pretty much that's by default everything everything else stays by default click ok yep. the group is set up now i'm able to go back to the fact settings go back to your function settings go back into your rx operation settings forward PX settings click OK here it is now you know what I don't want to send that those faxes now to a group instead it will pretty much eliminate this option because I want to send it to multiple users or multiple destinations you know click on search from the list here it is is my group that I created my fax group I know it has the multiple users inside. Click OK. Click Yes. Okay, it gives me the group. And everything else is by default. Click OK. Now you have your fax option. When a fax comes in, it will go either to an email or to a folder. That's set up. Now go ahead and you're done. Go ahead and make sure you log out of the admin mode.